All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this drawing here, which is uh, using different values to create like a weaving effect with our colored pencils. Um, so you will need a color, whichever color you choose, and then your white and black pencil as well um, from the Crayola kits, if you grabbed one from me or from wherever you got your colored pencils from. I would avoid choosing yellow um, just because it's a little bit more difficult to get dark as well as it gets pretty muddied when you add in your black. So um, we are going to start by kind of looking at the sections here. So what we're looking at up in the top here is basically a value scale from dark to super light to dark to create the effect that it's going under or it's in shadow and to create the highlights on the top of the ribbon that is on top of the other ribbon, like a weave, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do first is I've chose a green to work with, so I'm just going to lightly lay down some green nice and smoothly in my end here. And I'm gonna come across with my green on top, but I'm gonna do it real, real light, remember? Because we can always build up the color, but once we get that color down, that value down, it's hard to lift. So I'm gonna do it lightly across the top here, and then a little bit darker as we get back to our underside. And so we're mixing with uh, white and black, right? So I'm going to start with my color just lightly, and I'm going to work with the highlight first. Um, it's a little simpler. So I'm going to take my white, kind of blend it up, and I know it's, I can't really tell it's doing much on the camera. Um, so I'm just doing that. Pencil seems a little funky. Okay, I'm going to go back with my green. bringing that back. It's real slow kind of circular motions. And then where I'm getting down here to the dark area, I'm going to start putting more pressure on my pencil. I'm also going to grab my black pencil. gently add in some of this darker value. And again, you have to go back and forth like we did on the other practice sheets between your two colors here and my two colors being my color and my black and my color and my white. Okay, so now I need to do the same thing back over here. So I'm just adding in more green. black and I'm very little pressure right guys we can just add more if we need more but we don't want to get it too dark too fast and add in that value so we have a dark value it looks like it's wrapping back away from the light right it's out of the light at this point I'm gonna bring my green up a little bit farther and really try to keep that nice light highlight right there in the center where the light is hitting it. So now it's coming closer to my light, imaginary light source, I should say, because I'm creating a three-dimensional form, right, on this two-dimensional flat piece of paper. I'm just gonna kind of work my green and stop about there. It's not gonna look as nice as this little picture here because that was done with a computer. So we are just trying our best to blend our colors with our white and our black. Now I'm gonna come back over to this other side here, and basically start again. I'd suggest probably doing all your up and downs first so that you can have the paper in this direction. And then when you go to your other ones, turn your paper like this so it's easier for you to draw, you know, work smarter, not harder, guys, okay? So turn it to make it easy. This is awkward, right? Trying to do this is very awkward and you're gonna get really streaky results. So turn the paper when you're doing your up and down so it's easier for you. Your hand motion is a little bit simpler. Okay, so I'm again kind of starting on my edges with my circular light amount of pressure. Oops. 
super light in the middle here because that's going to be my highlight. some white. This white pencil is a little funky. I'm not sure if there's something on the tip. It doesn't seem to be blending it very well, so hopefully yours will work a little bit better than mine. But we just want to keep it super light right in that center there. And then start going very lightly with our black. So this is not going to take you... I mean, it's going to take you a little bit of time, so you're not just going to be able to kind of rush through this one. I want you to take your time because it will look pretty cool once it's finished. But you know, this could take us a good hour or so to finish all this up. So you have what, three hours to work on this over the next three days or so. So it should be done well and please take your time on it. And you want to really make sure it's kind of, you know, it matches the first one that you've done. And you might have to take breaks. Like my hands are already getting kind of cramped up doing this. So do a couple, come back, do a couple more. But you want to make sure you're doing it all in the same color tone, right? So don't like switch up and choose purple for these ones. Um, well, the only exception would be you could do the same colors on your vertical ones and a different color on your horizontal if you want to switch up the color if you get bored with it. Um, but you don't want to, you know, confuse yourself too much, especially in the beginning. So I'd say one or two colors. You could do another color across up to you, but just follow the guide up here. Um, and I know on the camera, you know, this doesn't look very smoothly blended, but in real life it is. It just seems to be showing all the pencil lines on my recording here. Okay, so really kind of transition nicely from light in the middle, the highlight, the dark on the edges. Okay, so you're just going to recreate this whole thing in your book. 